everybody. Today is February 21st, 2020, 5.46 p.m. Temperature is 21 degrees Fahrenheit. That's, no, temperature is 34 and one degree Celsius. 34 Fahrenheit, one Celsius. I just got off a D train at the last stop. Norwood 205th Street in the Bronx and today I'll be doing a walk of Norwood. So this is actually my first time in this neighborhood. It'll be pretty interesting to see what it is. So I guess the escalator is the only way up. Alright, let's get off on the left side. This is the 206th Street and Bainbridge Avenue southeast corner exit. like right now is golden hour so this neighborhood is also known as Bainbridge it's a working class residential neighborhood in the northwest corner of the Bronx here's a BX 34 bus to Woodlawn which is another neighborhood in the Bronx I guess I won't have any particular path in mind I'll just go around here and see what's up let me cross the street because it looks interesting over there. But it says here it's bounded by Van Cortlandt Park and Woodlawn Cemetery to the north, the Bronx River to the east, and Moshaloo Parkway to the southwest, or is it Moshaloo? Moshaloo, Moshaloo. And it's dominated topographically, topographically by what was no, once known as Valentine's Hill the highest point near the intersection of 210th Street and, Valen and uh, Bainbridge Avenue, which is where I'm at right now. This is Bainbridge Avenue. So this area was also known as Bainbridge because of the large Irish American community that used to be uh, present here but as the Irish community left this neighborhood during the 90s the name Bainbridge has kind of fallen out of use a little bit all right let's cross Bainbridge Avenue but the downturn in the US economy forced a lot of the Irish American immigrants to leave the area and seek work elsewhere. All right, so let's just take a look at this area. There's a delicatessen, Eddie's Delicatessen. An Italian restaurant on Bainbridge Avenue. There's a Chase Bank and a 99 cent store. Outdoor grocery vendor, sidewalk vendor.
I think for my route, I'll continue up Bainbridge Avenue to um, 210th Street. Let's check out that hill. And then maybe go over to Gun Hill Road. Looks like uh, garbage or recycling collection is tomorrow or today for these residents. Here we got Van Cortland Avenue East. Sunset in the background there. There's a museum across the street. It says the Museum of Bronx History, the Bronx County Historical Society. That house does look very old. It isn't open right now. I see the gate is closed. definitely a lot of residential buildings in this area. I do see on Wikipedia there's a hospital up ahead and I can actually see it in view right now. And I am uh, ascending right now. This is definitely a elevated terrain. Now this block has some uh, detached homes. Yeah, they are detached. Looks like they may be um, two family homes. It's interesting because you would think some of these are homes, but a lot of them have been converted into office space. Here's a dentist's office. And there's another uh, medical office across the street there. I do wonder if there is an Irish-centered uh, street still in Norwood. I would imagine there is still. All the Irish Americans couldn't have all left the neighborhood.
All right, so I've reached the top of the hill at Norwood, the historical hill that I was telling you about. And there is a hospital here, the Montefior Hospital. There's 210th Street. I think I'll go. You know, I actually won't go to Gun Hill Road at first because I do want to walk over to the border of Woodlawn Cemetery and tell you a little bit about Woodlawn Cemetery. And then I'll go on Gun Hill Road. There's the Montefiore Children's Hospital. So here is Gun Hill Road, named Gun Hill Road because this was actually a hill and from what I saw on the street signs when I was walking through this area one time, I saw signs that said that artillery guns used to be placed on this hill to defend New York from an invasion. I'm not sure if they were actually used or not but that's why it's called Gun Hill Road because it was it was used as a uh, for defense and military back in the day. Back in colonial times, American Revolutionary War. There's uh, another building for the Montefiore Hospital. So over there on the corner of 211th Street and Bainbridge Avenue is Woodlawn Cemetery. I don't think I'll be going to that corner because it's dark and you probably can't see anything anyway. But Woodlawn Cemetery is one of the largest cemeteries in New York City and it's a national historic landmark. Many famous American people have been laid to rest there. I'm going to read off some names right now. Uh, authors County Cullen, Nellie Bly, Hermie Melville, musicians Irving Berlin, Miles Davis, Duke Ellington, W.C. Handy, and Max Roach. And the department store founder Roland Pussy Macy. So 
that's Woodlawn Cemetery. It covers more than 400 acres and it's the resting place for more than 300,000 people. All right, let's go west on Gun Hill Road right now. Interesting name for a street. It says the Ro Chambu Avenue or Ro, Ro Chambo. Please excuse my pronunciation. Here's Tasty Picks, $5.99 for a salad with five salad toppings. Eight. Yeah, I'm a YouTuber. Uh, no. Oh, you want to be? Yeah. All right, why not? So I got a Bronx resident here. Yeah, you know the vibe. Yeah. Hi, he's a YouTuber, you heard? Yeah. What's your name? I'm What's an name? action kid on YouTube. Oh, yeah. I just did um, Fordham Road. I put it up uh -huh. like two, three days ago, and people love it. Yeah. I'm going to go down to, uh, they love the I think, vibe. Kingsbridge. Yeah. Appreciate All right, you, man. See ya. Gonna go down to the Bronx High School of Science, I think. Yeah, I've been looking at the map, the uh, Bronx High School of Science, and then head over to Bedford Park Boulevard. And I think that's a good time to end the video. Wow, there's a DeKalb Avenue in the Bronx. The more famous one is the one in Brooklyn. But there's a DeKalb Avenue in the Bronx. And is it just me or did that light only give me five seconds to count down from the flashing hand? That seems a little bit short. All right, so over here, I'm going to pass underneath the Jerome Avenue subway line which is the number four you know what? I don't think I'll continue on Gun Hill Road because it's a little bit dark by the park there by Van Cortlandt Park I'll just walk underneath Jerome Avenue I'll probably have a more local vibe anyway going on Jerome Avenue But here is Van Cortlandt Park. I think it is the second largest park in New York City. It has many things like the Van Cortlandt uh, House Museum, many running trails there. There's a golf course inside Van Cortlandt Park. But I'm not about to go into this park at this time of night. Not really a smart thing to do. Across Gun Hill Road now. Okay, time to walk to Rome Avenue. So 
some interesting artwork there and a pillar. Here's a local supermarket, the key food supermarkets. Pork shoulder for 99 cents a pound with a bone. Ice cream, rice, here. Typical grocery items here. Here's a um, store, clothing store that has a clearance sale going on right now. And here we got a store that says they're buying gold. Compramos Oro in Spanish. Wow, discount all store here, and buying here. gold store. Wow, they recorded. He recorded his voice in English and Spanish. And I gotta point out some of the businesses across the street too. It's a Mega Mart, Citibank, H&R Block, Burger King. Here's GameStop still holding on there. I thought GameStop was having troubles, but they still have some stores open. bowling stores around here there's even a place across the street I see it right now five dollar shoe warehouse I don't know about you but five bucks for shoes is a good deal and I know as I walk a lot but if it's good quality or not that's another question are five dollar shoes worth five bucks who knows, maybe you'll wear it one time and it'll fall apart on you. Here's a market. sidewalk shed or a sidewalk door they call it not a sidewalk shed Parkway North or Moshulu. Please excuse me if I'm pronouncing it incorrectly, but I'm gonna go with Moshulu. This is the Moshulu Parkway subway station on the number four train. Station here, people getting off and waiting for buses. Also, why is 
actual car highway right here a little bit high for my camera to see but it's there something really interesting there's a triplet of pedestrian crossing signals and they all blink at the same time they're synced perfectly so I gotta cross three crosswalks in order to get past I think I only have time to make two of them Yes, unfortunately, only time to make two of them. Well, maybe not. Just go, even though it says don't walk, because the cars still have a red light. Now, um... Oh, I was I was gonna say I wasn't sure what facility this is but I do see New York City Department of Environmental Protection vehicles in that parking lot there so it's probably a DEP property city-owned property definitely very dark around here even though they're street lamps they are faced like the wrong direction Yep, definitely a DEP facility here. I'm not really enjoying this side of the street right now. There isn't too much light. It's all industrial. But I don't think the walk on the other side of Van Cortlandt Park down Paul Avenue would have been any better either.
this bus to my left is a B line bus. So Westchester County uh, bus. They have their own system for the buses. But the B line bus system does take New York City's Metro cards. So you can still pay on them the same way. Fifth Street. I've reached Paul Avenue and 205th Street. This is the location of the Bronx High School of Science, one of New York City's specialized high schools. In order to attend here, you need to pass a specialized exam. I mean, it's not the only way to get into this. Uh, I mean, it's not the only thing that they use in order to uh, accept you into the school, but it's one of their main um, their main methods of admitting students to the high school. Alright, so here's the main entrance for the Bronx High School of Science. But anyway folks, if you enjoyed watching this video, be sure to give this uh, video a thumbs up down below. Smash that like button for the YouTube algorithm. Subscribe if you haven't already to the channel. And I'll see you all next time. 
thank you and enjoy.